to be the same as the world. You're supposed to be different. Are you different? You're supposed to be a light that shines, an aroma of life to others. Is that what your life is like? God commands you to acknowledge him before men. Now is the time of salvation. You too should work hard and aim high to glorify the triune God who united your name to his. And when you fail, well, remember David who prayed, Create in me a pure heart, O God. And then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. David promised to make disciples. Notes for the parents. You are making disciples, first of all, right in your own home with your children. That's a blessed and a vital task. Keep doing it. God works through the generations. He's the covenant God who loves the children of believers. And we need to teach them that, model that for them, not be people who just take it for granted and just do the right things. We need to call them to faith on the basis of the promise and to obedience on the basis of forgiveness. You may not have a lot of time or energy left over after the discipleship of your children, certain stages of life, The Lord understands that this is your task at this time, and you are to give much energy to it. He wants you and your family, though, to also be open to others and to be a light shining in this world. He wants you to pray fervently for other work that you're not involved in, to give for it. Pray for your neighbors. Maybe bring along a neighborhood child to vacation Bible school or to the worship services. Let your children see that part of being a disciple is obeying the Great Commission. Our children need to see that as an active example, and it's up to us as responsible adults to start showing this more. Otherwise, the next generation will be just like us, but we want them to be better, don't we? Encourage them to be open about their faith, to integrate it into their work and into their academic study. We have nothing to be ashamed about except our own sins. And that keeps us humble. Make disciples of all ethnicities, baptizing them and teaching them. The church is united to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one true God. That's why we must work hard and aim high. How can we be satisfied with the bare minimum and just, just take it easy and be on the periphery and the edges of church life, how can we be satisfied with that when our God is infinite love and power? He is everything. He provides everything. He's the foundation of our lives, our strength, and he's the one to whom we are going. Let's not grow weary or lose heart in anything, but let us gather strength also when we witness the baptism of another covenant child of the triune God. Amen.